Sometimes when we get out there in the water, we'll find ourselves kind of stuck in a hard spot. And it can come for many different reasons, but of course, when we find ourselves stuck in a hard spot, we're hoping to get a little help. Somebody to give us that helping hand. Like maybe you're taking water on and you need the Coast Guard to come over and hook you up with a dewatering pump so you can get back on your way. But one thing's for sure, if you find yourself stuck in a hard spot out there in the water, the last thing you want to do is just roll over and lay down. And speaking of rolling over and laying down, this is probably one of the wildest clips we've seen at the boat ramp this year. If you guys haven't yet, go over to the Miami Boat Ramps channel and check this video out. I'll leave it on the end screen at the end of this video as well, but just one of the wild things we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over toward Bermuda, where this was the scene actually just this past week, when a 50-foot catamaran called the Serenity was about 230 miles off the coast of Bermuda, when all of a sudden a gasket failure in the escape hatch caused the vessel to begin to take on water. Once the crew discovered the leak, they got on the radio to alert the Coast Guard to their situation. Unfortunately, due to the remoteness of their location, the Coast Guard didn't have anybody immediately in the area, so they issued a broadcast alerting all vessels in the area of the catamaran that was going down, and the closest ship to them happened to be the Disney Cruise Liner, the Disney Treasure, which at the time was approximately 80 miles away. The cruise ship changed its course and started heading toward the Serenity. Upon arrival, it launched one of its lifeboats, and the crew from on board the Disney Treasure wound up rescuing the four people off the catamaran and bringing them back back on board the cruise ship. The family that was on board the catamaran actually wound up getting a free ride back to the US on board the Disney Treasure. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to Key Largo, where this was the scene just about 10 days ago when a vessel wound up crashing into a seawall at the Marina Club at Blackwater Sound. There were three occupants on board the vessel at the time of the incident we see here. Fortunately, somehow miraculously, all three walked away from this without any major injuries. One of the crew on the vessel tells the story that they were trying to dock the boat in moderate winds. The captain was trying to increase the throttle to try and counteract the wind, when accidentally he wound up slipping and falling on the throttle instead, causing the boat to lurch forward and wind up colliding with the seawall as we see in the video here. This crew is very fortunate there were no injuries involved during this incident. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Japan, where this was the scene just a few days ago, when a Japanese maritime self-defense force minesweeper wound up catching fire off the country's southwestern coast just this past week. The vessel is the minesweeper Yukushima, and it had approximately 40 crew members on board at the time of the incident. Once the fire was discovered, the crew jumped into action to try and battle the blaze, and also alerted the Coast Guard to their situation. The crew was eventually able to put the blaze out, but by the time they got it put out, it was too late, the vessel wound up having a heavy list, and the vessel does eventually wind up sinking and succumbing to the blaze. Fortunately in this situation, Coast Guard and another Japanese minesweeper were both able to respond to the scene to rescue 39 of the crew members off the vessel. At the time of this reporting, there is still one crew member missing and a rescue search mission is underway. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over toward the coast of Morocco, where this was the scene approximately a week ago when Royal Caribbean's Explorer of the Seas wound up running into a squall approximately 750 miles off the coast of Morocco with wind gusts of upwards of 75 miles an hour causing the vessel to wind up roll and pitch as seen in the images here. Guests claim that basically anything that was not bolted down was sliding across the ship. This includes things such as passengers, chairs, plates, and glasses coming off the bar. Immediately in the aftermath of the severe weather, the ship was put into safety protocol according to reports with all passengers being asked to return to their cabins as the crew worked through accounting for everybody and to make sure everyone was okay. The vessel was in the middle of a transatlantic crossing during the incident. They were leaving Spain heading toward Florida. Unfortunately, due to the incident though, the cruise liner did decide to turn around and head back toward Los Palmos, Spain. And at this time, Royal Caribbean has not released a statement as to what they plan to do with the passengers to try and get them to Florida. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Adam Coolidge, Potisserie Chicken, and the Fish Guys did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.